These are the four pillars of Kubernetes networking. And hi guys, today is day 29 of the DevOps entry question series. The first type of network communication is container to container communication. As shown in the manifest, I'm creating a pod named multi container pod that runs two containers, web and busybox. The web container listens on port 8080 and it is configured with an argument that returns the message. Now let's test communication between these two containers. I will apply the manifest file using kubectl apply f and the manifest file. After the pod is created, I am verifying it using kubectl get pods. You can see the pod is running with two containers. Next, I will exec into the bgbox container. I am using kubectl exec hyphen it and the pod name and the container name and in the shell. Now I am using the bgbox container. Since both containers share the same network namespace, I can access the web container using localhost on port 8080 and hitting enter as expected we received the response which confirms successful communication between the two containers inside the same pod the next type of network communication in kubernetes is pod to pod communication in this demo i am creating two separate pods pod a and pod b so the goal is to demonstrate how one pod can communicate with another using its ip address first i am applying this manifest file once applied both pods are created and then i retrieve the ip address of pod b using get pods hyphen o wide as expected, Kubernetes assigns a unique IP to every pod. Now I will exit into pod A. Now I am inside a pod A. I try to reach pod B using its IP on port 5678. As you can see, we successfully received a response from pod B. This confirms that in Kubernetes, pods can communicate with each other directly using their IP address. The next type of networking communication in Kubernetes is pod to service communication. For this example, how a pod can communicate with a service that is fronting another set of pods. As shown in the manifest file, I am creating a deployment and the service is configured to expose the pods created by the deployment. Additionally, I am creating a separate pod name test client using the bgbox image. So the idea is to access the service from inside the test client pod using the service name. Let me apply this manifest file. Once the components are created, I am verifying the setup. You will see two pods running, one from the deployment and one named test client. Now I exec into the test client pod. So now I am inside the pod. I access the service using the DNS name. So as you can see, we got the response hello from service. The final type of network communication is accessing a service externally. In this use case, I have created a deployment with two replicas with one container with the image Nginx. A service type load balancer which exposes the application to the outside world via external IP. Now let me apply the manifest file. You can see that both the deployment and services have been successfully created. Now let's verify the status of the pod and the service. As shown, the pods are up and running and the service has been assigned an external IP which is 127.0.0.1. Now let's try accessing the application using curl on the external IP. 